we got a young wise, my very special guest for today, Mr. Christian Keys. Christian Keys, how are you? I'm good, man. Why is it? You Nas's cousin? I like it. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? And you got a, you got a suit on like, you know, you work for Hennessy or something. That's the way it clean. I'm going to give you yeah. a story on Young Wise. Young Wise is a black horse count. This brother's always everywhere. Okay. He has a story with everybody in the most random places. Just don't be shocked. Got you. When you see him at the next party, don't be shocked. <laughs> and that's like, the combo is good. So if you see me like three events from now with like a, a tan suit with like the, the burnt orange uh, yep. under situation, yeah. I didn't get it from you. That is hilarious. Yeah. What is the biggest misconception about you, Christian Keys? Ah, dude, I, I get, I get, um, people assume that you're, because you have some success, one, that you're rich. Yeah. How about that? Let's start with that. How about the yeah. message? Um, <laughs> Because you're working consistently as a working actor, one, it's a blessing to even say you're a working actor and that's all you have to do, thank God. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, that if you're on TV, you're rich. Like, I've literally had fans like, you know, hey, listen, can you pay my tuition this semester? That's you know, right. you're on TV, I know you're a millionaire. Like, hold on. That's crazy. And then in the dating world, you know, first, first date and it ended up being the last date a few years ago. You know, hey, you on TV, so are you a millionaire? I was like, cancel the appetizers. <laughs> yeah. We just we just gonna stick with the water and we're gonna get on it. I'll tip you for the water. We finna this is over. Um, so it's it's that and it's um just the fact that it's easy, like that maybe the acting is just memorizing lines and changing the way you say them. It's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. It's yeah. so much work that goes into it and you know, a lot of people just assume, Oh yeah, you just gotta memorize this page. No, nah, man, you that's the you can stay working somewhat if you just memorize really well. Yeah. You can work a lot on some great projects yeah. if you if you lock it in and then you build some truth behind it and underneath it and find yeah. that magic that's in between yeah. those words and those columns yeah. and, and those 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 periods and everything. If you find that light that's in there, yeah. then you're working consistently and getting good money. Um, and then it, I guess people think if you're in the public eye, you're you're arrogant. I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm so down to earth, but. There are times where I do want to, you know, be left alone. If I'm out with my son, you know, and, and we just have him father son time, you know, I'm gonna have people chew me out because I didn't want to take a picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, maybe another time I'm, I'm kicking it with my son right now. Yeah. You know, we we're eating dinner. I got spaghetti in my mouth. <laughs> um, you know, and I, 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 I at least wait till after the spaghetti. Yeah. Um, but I prefer, you know, to do it another time. Oh, you ain't this, you ain't that, you ain't wow. the entitlement. Well, I was a minute ago, yeah. one of the pictures. Yeah, it's the entitlement. Yeah, answer me this, so, because I've run into this several times where I try to be the coolest fan ever. Mm -hmm. When I see somebody with their kids, I'm like, damn. I'm all, I immediately say damn, because mm -hmm. I'm like, where am I going to see this motherfucker again to get this picture? So when you run into a situation where you are the parent, you got your kid with you, you're, uh, you have these fans, how can because they don't know the Christian Keys calendar or where you're going to be. Mm -hmm. How is the perfect scenario for a fan to get a picture while you're with your son? Give me an ideal situation. What I'll do is when I see somebody, yeah. um, like um, uh, John Bernthal played Punisher. Oh, you got the Punisher? He was cool. With, with, he was super, super. He was, you know, moving. Like his yeah. energy was like, leave me alone. <laughs> so, so what I did was, and this is my normal thing, I was like, big fan of your work, bro. And I started to keep it moving. And thanks, man. Thanks, man. He's like, you, uh, he started talking. That's amazing. You let them talk. Yeah. That, that energy exchange will let you know that they are open to possibly getting a picture or mm -hmm. a little, you know, a sentence or two more. Mm -hmm. So you feel that vibe. So I made it, I made it not about me and what I wanted as mm -hmm. a fan, but just the fact that he was just coming off of, um, the walking dead and, and some, something else and something else. Wow. And I'm like, dude, you you know, me and my son watched The Walking Dead on Sunday. You the truth, brother. Keep killing it. Yeah. And and he was okay with chopping up because yeah. he was waiting for his croissant sandwich or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I was too. Yeah. So, you know, that kind of thing. I was like, hey, man, um, you know, if you got time, you mind if me and my son get a quick picture, please? Mm -hmm. Boom. Done. There was no entitlement. There was yeah. no expectation. All you can do is, you know, and I've done that with a bunch of people. It's just that's the way I prefer to handle it. Now, if they're busy or the energy is like, hell no. Yeah. Then what I'll do is, who did I just do that to? I was like, uh, did I just see somebody that's everywhere, every damn show ever. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I could tell his energy wasn't there. Yeah. But I was like, plenty of work, brother. Yeah. And, and he said, thank you, man, I appreciate it. And I kept it moving. Mm -hmm. Because that's, at the end of the day, you still had a positive experience. Yeah. I, I, 
he, he had family with him, he had an assistant and somebody else with, with some instructions and a list of shit that oh. they had to do, and I'm like, I'm not gonna be, yeah. I don't, yeah. you know. So I, I think there's ways to do it if we make it not about us, yeah, yeah, and about, about the fact that we really appreciate their work. Yeah, and then I think there's a there's a positive way to do it. Yeah, I seen Morgan Freeman in the grocery store. <laughs> uh, I want to say. <laughs> I, I want to say. Clean up on aisles. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, Can you imagine? Great, I I want to say, I want to say, like in the mid Wilshire area, I want to say, like um, where the grocery store that is on La Brea and Third, right there. Oh, that's that, uh, that's that Ralph's. And it's Trader Joe's. I didn't think you were going to mention it because then you, you know, Jeff. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. I was so into the story. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. I was so into the story. That's why I wasn't going to name them because they're not, they not sending no money to Dash and, 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 and kick it in place. But um, no, I, I, I just walked past and I was like, uh, Mr. Freeman, huge fan of your work, mm-hmm. brother. And you know he hit you with the uh, the, the narrator. Uh, I play God in like four wow. movies, oh and the God. president voice, and he was like, "Thanks, man, I appreciate it." And uh, that was it. Uh, that was it. I wasn't gonna ask for nothing else. Yeah. I think I could die without. Like that's all I need in my life. Yeah. 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 LA, LA is like that. It is. You're it running is. to. I ran into David Hasselhoff at the subway. What? <laughs> Just the Hulk was standing there, and he like. Six five and drunk at all times. Um, <laughs> but no, it was it was I was like he ordered a sandwich. I'm like, I know that voice. Mm-hmm. And then the Baywatch theme songs started playing in the back of my head. And I'm no. like, this is this, this is the hall. I mean that's LA for you though. <laughs> and I just gave him a nod. I I just seen Jamie Foxx at the yeah. damn subway, just yeah. randomly he Don Cheetah walking past or something. I'm like that. Now you want to see his keep it moving. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna no. Now, do you ask for pictures, Avis, when you see people, or have you seen two no, cool for No, 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 I don't. I don't. I, yeah, it's crazy. I you don't. Two cool for school? I'm like, you know, I'm gonna let them be them. You know what I mean? If it's meant to happen, then we gonna get we gonna get it in a chilling section where it's like we we chilling. You know what I mean? Like we we're together because we know each other in this group. Mm-hmm. Like, so I don't know. The pictures they don't do that for me. Leon, you actually you have your son. Both of you guys are in the business. I've seen. First of all, that's the dopest alley oop for anybody that a kid wants to meet. Compared to somebody that you want to meet, you be like, hey, my son want a picture. Nigga, yeah. If you turn a kid down, you yeah. are an asshole. Facts. Yeah. So Facts. How, how is it, that, have you met people that you want to meet and you be like, hey, hey, look at real. I need you to go up. I need you to smile. We're about to go get weed out of here. Just go ahead and get weed out. <laughs> not, not really. Like All the settings that, that I met somebody with my son were in chill settings. Oh, nice. I've never met anyone in passing. Mm. It was always like it was at an event or a bowling or yeah. something where we were just... It was half of them I already knew or, yeah. or, or acquainted with or mm-hmm. acquainted with, but I've never been like, oh my God, I'm in some bowling. I, I never... I would probably if I could. I would. <laughs> Yeah. I can't. I would loan you mine, but he. <laughs> Christian's almost your size now. Like we were, we were filming something down here, uh-huh. and um, and KD was at uh, at the corner, oh. um, at at uh some exclusive tennis shoe shop right mm-hmm. there on Melrose or something. And they, you know, word got back to the set, and I was like, oh, we had just played in a celebrity game mm-hmm. together. So, I, and I, my son was filming mm-hmm. with me on that on that movie. So I was like, well, if you want to, you know, you want to pitch with Katie, he was like, oh, oh yeah. I was no, like, listen, see. Um, <laughs> see. I'm a, so, you know, I didn't use him, yeah. but the whole picture, Christian was like, big smile. <laughs> if yeah. I show you the picture, that's his expression. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> that would make me do it. That's <laughs> like, it's the kid's joy. Yeah. Yeah. Anything they want. <laughs> Anything they want. Leia, have you met a celebrity that you've been like, oh, my God, can I see your picture? Um, I did, actually, when I was um, living back in Cincinnati. I feel like... When you live in LA, your whole vibe changes. Oh, yeah. So similar to you, like mm-hmm. here, I've never had that happen to me because you constantly see it happening. Or yeah. like, if I'm in the presence of a celebrity, usually it's in a very chill setting, mm-hmm. and I'm like, if the vibe is right, we're gonna end up chilling together mm-hmm. and being in the same area, and then we'll probably have a conversation, and that's about it. Um, but actually, back, like it was probably a good eight, nine years ago, I auditioned for American Idol, what? and I met Ryan Seacrest. And I was like, um, he was just leaving the audition and I was trying to like catch him in passing. And I was like, trying to like get a picture with him. And I got one, um, but he definitely was on the job. So he was like, okay, yeah. Cause he was taking pictures of everybody. Cause he was like yeah. on the job type situation. Um, but that was the only person to this day. Now it's just like chill situations. You know, it's, it's interesting, Ava, to go back to your point of what Rachel said, uh, you're going to end up being around this person you'll see again. Yeah, like I have faith in that. 
you do, you have to have it. But years ago, I had wanted to meet Carl Jones, who is one of the producers of Boondocks, mm -hmm. Black Dynamite, the list goes on and on. And I'm really good friends with Michael John White, and he always throws these fight parties in his crib. And I'm like, yo, Mike, because Mike has introduced <laughs> me to some of my favorite people. Like, I remember Wesley Snipes was at the crib. Oh. I said, Michael John White, let's do this. I need to meet Wesley Snipes. And he's like, oh, I got you. Hey, Wesley. I'm like, hey, man, oh, give me an intro, brother. I'm just, you know. Yeah. But I wanted to meet Carl Jones. So he was like, oh, yeah, he's always at the house. I'm like, great. He's like, next fight party, he's here. Next fight party came. I had a show, couldn't go. And I'm like, damn. Three times after that, he was at the fight party. I had a show, couldn't go. I'm like, damn, bro. Comic Con happens a couple years ago. He, his wife, me, Tans, we're all there. And I get a chance to go towards him. Security stops it. I'm like, hey, man, I'm a Michael John White. They're like, nah, fam. Go. I'm like, oh, not for like a groupie. <laughs> so, yesterday, we're here uh, at the at the place that we at, and we had a gathering of meeting about this application. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, Carl Woods, and I'm like, yo, Kenny, Marcus Kenny, I'm like, I need the greatest introduction ever. He gave me the introduction. I met his brother, was able to tell him how big of a fan I was of yeah. his work. We exchanged information, and I'm glad we met like this yeah. mm -hmm. instead of the fan because now it's a respect. And I'm yeah. like, I'm on the show. 